Yes! Then I came down here, went all the way down there, and I go, I don't know which way we're going. I'll come back to this pad of dirt. There's no shady spot? No, like, the only shade you can get is under that cliff over there if you want to really get in the shade. So. But I was like, there's really no shade here. Okay, here we go. Like, under that cliff is about it. If you get underneath that and laid in that shade, you'd be okay. Like, that's where I would go if I had to. Well, if you can see the crawfish, that's where we're headed. Where? Right out in front of me. Like, yeah. There? Yeah. So we're gonna hang a left. We go back up to where we turned off onto Hunter Mountain. Yeah, there's a trail or something right here. I'm there's not a bunch sure. of shit Yeah, here. I was like, ah, I'm just gonna come back and wait here because I don't know where I'm going. Yeah. That was. That would be. I thought it was gonna be worse. When he said rocks, You're I'm like, oh, this on. is just a rocky road. Oh, this you. isn't too bad. But for this, I bet it's not. Yeah. I That's a lot of work them, on I a big ass bike. It might actually be easier going up that on this thing than it is coming down it. Because you've got more, you know, the balance, the more speed you get, better balance is, right? Yeah. And if you're going real, real slow. It's wanting to tip on you real Yeah, bad. it's like a 500-pound trials bike. That's what it feels like. Yeah. I you am, can't really get too much speed. Because yeah, when you're going get, that slow. If it gets yeah. ahead of you, you can't stop it. Yeah. I hope that kid, well, uh, Eric, I made it through there okay. I mean, now. you talk about, oh, let's not hit the big road, Jeeps everywhere. And I go, are you fucking kidding me? There's a fucking set of Jeeps coming up the way we try to go. That's the most I've ever seen come up at one time. Yeah, that's crazy. I've seen twos. We saw, I was out here with my brother-in-law about five years ago. And there was a couple camped out by that crossroad. And we had stopped to eat lunch here. And they took off on mountain bikes. And They're, we caught them up for race time. Holy shit. Yeah. That's a ride. That is a ride. Oh. On a mountain bike. You die in heat stroke, Clint? Yeah, I'm taking this thermal off. Yeah, I'd like to take mine off, but I think I'm going to just find a place to stuff that sweater. I just do what I did and tie it. Folded the bottom up to itself and then tied it around the top. Yeah. Ah. Might do that. Hey, it started getting hot. Like, after I got around those Jeeps, I'm like, man, I'm getting hot. I didn't even fucking slow down. There's no wind when you're doing four mile an hour. Dude, I, when, as soon as I saw him, I thought, ah, nope, I'm going. And I just started, do, 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 do. And I went around one guy. He's like, fuck, don't hit my car. Don't hit. And I just went right up the side. Around the next guy. There was just enough room to get around him. You made it. There are some spots right up there, too, where you could wait let them get by and yeah. then just go down which is what i thought would have been we, a good we at least had a big pull off that we could wait so down. that road that's saline valley so that's the road we turned off of the highway to start this morning oh really and that takes you all the way up to the north end of the valley um if you ever get a chance with your buddies riding dirt bikes um well, let me finish that thought that'll take you all the way to the north end of the valley and you can pick up a cutoff it'll take you out just valley road 
and they'll put you in a big pine tree. Oh, no way. So, when you go on the, um, I want sure I like that is like this. And 395 comes up this way, right? right? And you guys probably would turn and come this way up, and it goes out with the Death Valley this way, right? Yeah. That's if you go on this side right here, there's a little town of Keeler. Just past it, five minutes. You never know it's there unless you look at a map. There's a trailhead that will take you all up along the line of that ridge line in the far distance. The, the snowy one? Yeah. Oh, and you get up there, and there's an old uh, hideout cabin. You get in there, there's cans of beans, and tubes, and bottles of water, people leave. Huh? Is it MacGyver's cabin? I don't know what it's called. We found our name in the log with charcoal last time we were there. Okay. If you can ride all the way down the ridge line, uh, past the salt trams, somebody decided it was a good idea. Because they used to pull salt out of this valley, and like, um, same way a ski lift works. They would pull it up there and then they drop it down oh, the other side. They put it on ferries across Owens Lake, throw it on that small gauge railroad, and run it down to LA. Huh. And you can ride that whole ridge line. It's not very technical. You can probably do it on this. The dirt bike's a nice day. Um, it's beautiful. I got a picture of my brother, and you're looking, you're at like 10,000 feet. So you're looking straight across at the uh, Cottonwood Trailhead. That first zigzag one that goes up, like on the left hand side as you're going to Stone Pine. You're way the fuck up there. This valley looks like, I mean, way yeah. down. And you're looking straight down on it. I have a picture of him standing on the edge of the mountain just looking down at it. It's, uh, it's a beautiful ride. If you can come back up here and explore, that's uh, one of my favorite places I've found up here. You go through a bunch of, you start in the desert, but it takes you up in the pinions. And there's not much up there um, as far as tree line or anything. Right. There's a lot of pinion pines and stuff. I got a thermal on underneath this. Sitting down in that mean. valley with no wind. Yeah, I started picking up some heat. I was like, oh, I don't want to get hot. It's been so good. I just want to see those two guys, the guy in the other adventure, 